Hello there, my fellow Guard veterans, and welcome to another video about the various vehicles of this mighty Imperial Force. Today we are going to be returning to a more stationary kind of video, so to speak, since we are going to cover not one, but two different types of self-propelled artillery. These are the Griffin and the Medusa. We are gonna be learning what these things are, what they are armed with, what their role is, and of course some of their technical specifications. I am your host, the Grimdark Narrator, and without further ado, let us proceed, shall we? The Griffin The Griffin is a light artillery tank of the Imperial Guard equipped with a heavy mortar cannon that is based on the Chimera chassis. This tank is the lightest of the Imperial Guard's artillery and siege tanks, and is smaller both in size and firepower than the Basilisk, Medusa or Bombard tanks. The Griffin is used as an indirect fire support vehicle for infantry during offensive sieges, and is also used to fire over walls and other barriers. The main weapon of the Griffin is not capable of long-range fire like the Basilisk, or powerful enough to destroy heavy vehicles or structures. It has been an Imperial service since the time of the Great Crusade, and it was known to the Imperial Army of those days as the Helios Mortar Carrier. The Griffin is, unfortunately, much maligned by Imperial military commanders. This is mostly because its weapon lacks the range and firepower when compared to the heavier artillery pieces and main battle tanks. It is becoming slowly extinct as a frontline unit, as less and less are replaced after being lost in battle. Also, its manufacturing rate among the Imperial Forge worlds is steadily declining. Yet, when deployed correctly, the Griffin has many advantages over its bigger cousins. It is much more mobile and has a higher rate of fire than most other armored vehicles and can keep up with other fast-moving Imperial forces, whereas a Basilisk would fall behind, or even slow down the advance. The Griffin is also able to use the same ammunition variants as the standalone heavy mortar cannon, and so it has become a niche weapon in many armored regiments. The Griffin is armed with a single heavy mortar cannon, also known as the Griffin Heavy Mortar. The weapon is capable of highly accurate bombardment against enemy fortifications due to the stable platform from which it is fired. The weapon is also able to make use of multiple types of ammunition, each able to meet a different set of circumstances. The vehicle is also equipped with a hull-mounted heavy bolter for self-defense when enemy infantry gets too close. This weapon can be switched out for a heavy flamer, when used in urban combat deployment. The Griffin can be outfitted with an enclosed crew compartment, which can have a pintle mounted heavy stubber or storm bolter equipped. It can also be fitted with a hunter-killer missile launcher, extra armor plating, a dozer blade, a mine plow, camouflage netting, a searchlight, and smoke launchers. Some of the ammunition variants it can use include The High Explosive Shell High Explosive Rounds are the standard shells used by both the Heavy Mortar Cannon and the Griffon. They are more than capable of destroying infantry units and even light vehicles through sheer explosive force. The Fragmentation Rounds these are timed charge shells that explode before hitting the ground and shower the area with shrapnel. They are employed often against large numbers of closely packed infantry. The Siege Shells Siege shells are, unsurprisingly, used against enemy structures and fortifications. They are fused to explode after hitting the ground, causing damage to the building foundation. Melta Shells these undergo a subatomic reaction upon impact and release a blast of intense heat. They are capable of doing tremendous damage to armored units and infantry alike. Inferno Rounds These shells are packed with a highly flammable substance, causing everything in the vicinity of its explosion to burst into flame. 
This fire though is difficult to extinguish and its flammable gel will stick to almost any surface. As a result, most infantry and vehicles will retreat rather than be faced with a concentrated barrage of infernal rounds. Illumination Shells These are fired high into the air on a parabolic arc, where they deploy with a parachute and slowly drift downwards. The shell burns very brightly on its way down to illuminate the battlefield for nighttime operations. Smoke Shells these ones cover the impact area with a dense layer of smoke that is used to conceal the location of friendly forces. The carcass shells. These are crude, corrosive and incendiary munitions employed on the Griffins by the Death Corps of Krieg, whose formula dates back to the Krieg Civil War. Though undoubtedly effective, carcass shells are very unstable and are not sanctified for use by other regiments of the Imperial Guard due to their very hazardous nature. Some technical specifications for the Griffin include Its forge world of origin is Vanaheim. There are eight known patterns. Its crew consists of one commander, one driver, one gunner and one loader. Its power plant is a Vulcanor 16 twin-coupled multi-fuel. It weighs 32 tons. Its length is 6.9 meters. Its width is 4.8 meters. Its height is 3.85 meters. Its maximum speed on road is 70 kilometers an hour. Its maximum speed off road is 55 kilometers an hour. The armor of the superstructure is 100 millimeters and the armor of the hull is 150 millimeters. The Medusa The Medusa, also known as the Medusa Siege Tank, is another piece of self-propelled artillery in use by the Imperial Guard. Like the Griffin heavy mortar carrier, the Medusa is a siege weapon mounted onto a Chimera chassis, transforming it into a mobile artillery piece. It is named after the weapon it carries, the Medusa siege gun. During a siege, it is primarily used to breach the walls of an enemy fortification so that attacking infantry can storm the position and eliminate all resistance. During urban warfare, the Medusa can be used as an infantry support vehicle, toppling buildings and walls for the Imperial attackers. The Medusa is an older weapon of the Imperial Guard, and it is slowly losing its place, as Imperial military commanders look to better alternatives to serve in the role of siege tank, due to the Medusa's lack of range, armor and ammunition capacity. The Medusa and the Griffin have been largely replaced as infantry support vehicles by the Thunderer siege tank and the Lehman Rust demolisher. The Basilisk and the Manticore are also preferred due to their long-range engagement capability. The Medusa, though, is still kept in reserve batteries just in case they're needed, but many Imperial commanders try to avoid using them whenever possible. Still, when an enemy wall needs to be breached or a line of heavily defended bunkers needs to be assaulted, the Medusa siege tank can still get the job done. It was first used by the Imperium during the Great Crusade in the late 30th millennium, where it was fielded in great numbers by the Imperial Army and the Mechanicum, and in smaller numbers by the Space Marine Legions. The Medusas used by the Astartes were usually crewed by the Legion's mortal personnel, but sometimes they were also crewed by the Astartes themselves. The Medusa, along with the Basilisk, saw only limited use by most of the Legions, as the Astartes preferred to use the more versatile Whirlwind Artillery Tank, which was based upon the Rhino chassis and was much easier to repair for the Legions. There were some Legions that did make use of the Medusa, like the Iron Warriors or the Imperial Fists, who specialized in siege warfare. During those ancient times, the Medusa could be outfitted in much the same way as it is in the late 41st millennium, but the tank could also take additional upgrades and attachments, which have long since been lost to the Imperium. The Medusa siege gun serves as the tank's main weapon, and although the tank only carries 20 rounds of ammunition for that gun, it can still be used to great effect against enemy bunkers. 
It is also outfitted with a hull-mounted heavy boulder to be used as a defensive weapon against enemy infantry. The Medusa can use several types of shells, but not as many as the heavy mortar cannon on the Griffin. It can be upgraded with an enclosed crew compartment, which helps in keeping the crew safe from small arms fire, as well as camouflage netting, extra armor plating, a hunter-killer missile launcher, improved communications equipment, a minesweeper, a pintle-mounted heavy stubber or storm boulder, rough terrain modifications, a searchlight, track guards, and a smoke launcher. During the Great Crusade and Horus Heresy eras in the late 30th and early 31st millennia, Medusa tanks could be outfitted with other upgrades, like an auxiliary drive system and pintle-mounted twin-linked boulders. The Medusa was sometimes also used as a command tank for artillery formations. The ammunition used by the Medusa includes high explosive and siege shells, which I described earlier, but also the more unique Bastion Breacher shells. These are fired directly into the enemy wall, where they burrow deep and then explode after penetrating, causing the wall to explode outwards and creating a breach for Imperial infantry to enter through. Some heavy users of the Medusa siege tank include the 8th Valhallen Armored Regiment, the 28th Death Corps of Krieg Armored Regiment, the 2nd Palladius Armored Regiment, the 101st and 17th Talon Regiments, the 122nd Cadian Regiment, and the 13th Cadian Armored Regiment. And finally, some technical specifications for the Medusa include Its Forge World of Origin is Griffon 4, Its crew consists of one driver, one commander, one gunner and two loaders, it weighs 38 tons, its length is 5.29 meters, its width is 3.78 meters, its height is 3.72 meters, its maximum speed on road is 50 kilometers an hour, its maximum speed off road is 35 kilometers an hour, its superstructure armor is 100 millimeters, and its hull armor is 150 millimeters. And that, my friends, has been what I wanted to tell you about the Griffin and the Medusa for today. Even though both of these vehicles are apparently phased out of the Imperial Guard, which one would you rather have in a siege? Let us know and discuss in the comments below. Also, if you guys have any specific vehicles you'd like me to cover, do feel free to write your suggestions below. Just please keep in mind that I do try to make these videos in categories, so I can't really do a video with both a shadow sword and a salamander in it. Was this video informative or entertaining? In that case, please click the like button and subscribe for more content. Thank you very much for watching, and I wish you all a great day. The Emperor Protects.